Hey everybody, this is Gary with the New Smyrna Beach Fishing Channel. Well, I've heard some ugly rumors, and it appears that the rumors are correct. That New Smyrna Beach, the city of New Smyrna Beach, has closed the boat ramps. And of course they did this uh, saying that this was due to the coronavirus. But I really don't think they thought through the decision that they were making when they made it because what they have accomplished is absolutely nothing except they've made it extremely difficult for those of us who enjoy taking the boat out and going fishing to get in the water now I just showed you the uh, North Causeway ramp on the west side this is the North Causeway ramp on the east side and this ramp is open but it is only open to commercial fishermen the recreational fisherman is not allowed to be here or to put in the water and you see the police officers over there on the right side uh, controlling who can and cannot put in the water over here so um, this is kind of uh, what we have going on now unfortunately this really only affects those of us who cannot afford a home on the water with our own dock and lift because see all those people that live in the homes on the water they can still put their boats in the water uh, they have a private dock private lift nobody can tell them they can't put the boat in water but um, if you are like me and you have to trailer your boat because you can't afford the uh, the house on the water or you can't afford uh, to have your boat uh, on a uh, on a lift then um, you're stuck and you're stuck with doing uh, what uh, a lot of people have done uh, this weekend especially is going up to the Port Orange Bridge and we're going to go up there in a few minutes to check out what's happening at the Port Orange Bridge so uh, let's run real quick over here to the swoop ramp and see what's happening at the swoop ramp uh, let's see what's going on the swoop ramp is closed and that's just terrible so I'm sitting here looking at the swoop ramp with the concrete uh, barricades up watching boats go up and down the intercoastal waterway people who don't have to put in at the New Smyrna Beach public ramps enjoying their day on the water but unfortunately we can't so uh, what are we going to do uh, I say that uh, we call the mayor, we call the city council, and we ride their rear ends like a wet, saggy diaper until they change the decision that they've made about the boat ramps. It hasn't accomplished anything. Uh, it's not keeping people from going out to Disappearing Island and enjoying themselves on the beach, uh, gathering together and partying. Uh, it has accomplished none of that. People are still doing that. They're still there. Uh, they just have to go up to... Uh, the Port Orange Bridge and put in and uh, boat themselves down the intercoastal waterway until they uh, get to Disappearing Island. So uh, anyway, you know my videos, I try to keep them upbeat and uh, I try to keep them where uh, it's basically enjoying uh, time out on the water and going fishing, but um, we're in a situation here where, uh, you know, at the moment there's nothing we can do except to uh, get after the mayor and the city council of New Smyrna Beach and see if we can get them to change their mind. Uh, let's take off here in a minute. We're going to run up to the Port Orange Bridge, the ramp there under the bridge, and we're going to check out what's going on up in Port Orange. Okay, here we are at the Port Orange Bridge and the Port Orange Ramp, and the very first thing you notice is what? All the trucks and trailers parked along the road, in the grass, in the no parking areas, and look at those windshields on every single one of them. What do you see? You see a parking ticket. So, what has happened by closing the ramps in New Smyrna Beach, the residents of New Smyrna have been forced to come to Port Orange and park in the grass and the no parking areas and by doing so they're all fined a big parking ticket fabulous 
So what have we accomplished? Look at how busy this ramp is. Every single parking place has a truck and a trailer from the boat. And one thing that I noticed when I was driving around here is that people are actually putting their boat in the water and then they're trying to find a parking place and can't find the parking place. So their boats are blocking the ramp while they drive around and around the parking area hoping that somebody will decide to leave so they can find a place to park or they're going to park in the grass knowing when they park there that the police officer that's sitting over here by me in the parking lot as soon as they do he's going to go over there and give them a ticket. Um, see how busy it is people are backed up people are standing outside of their cars waiting for those guys that have dumped their boat in the water to find them a parking place so they will move and let uh, those folks either one put their boat in the water or two get their boat out of the water so uh, back to the same question and New Smyrna Beach by closing the ramps what have we accomplished we have accomplished nothing we have made the situation worse by forcing everybody onto uh, the ramps in Port Orange where if they were uh, on our own ramps down in New Smyrna Beach it wouldn't be this way up here and you wouldn't have that police officer sitting there writing tickets to people who are parked in the grass just like that guy there was on the right side so anyway like I said I try to keep my videos upbeat but this has really uh, gotten under my skin and I really don't know uh, like I said what to do except to uh, start making phone calls that's about the only thing I can tell you you know when you uh, be in a uh, retired federal employee one thing you know about the when people work for the government is sometimes they just feel like they have to make decisions whether they be right or wrong just so they can justify their position or their jobs well this decision was obviously a bad one and uh, it's time for those folks that made this decision to change their mind they're not saving anybody from the coronavirus by doing what they're doing so uh, come on mayor, come on city council, open the boat ramps. It's really that simple. Just swallow that pride a little bit, come to the understanding you made a bad decision, change your mind, open the boat ramps. So uh, I'm going to get off my soapbox and rant is over. And uh, hopefully uh, sometime here in the next few days, if we get enough people um, uh, making noise about it, we'll get uh, something accomplished. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll see you next video. Hopefully the next video will be on the water of us catching fish. Bye.